How's it going everyone? Welcome to Disc Functional Commentary. On the very first video that I did for this channel, I talked about the real Ghostbusters, the complete animated series Blu-ray set, and I'd imported that set from Germany. I import things from time to time, and I've imported something else again from Germany, and that's what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about Gestjitzten Ostergroth. I don't speak German. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. I apologize. But you know what? I don't need to pronounce it correctly for you to know exactly what this is. All you have to do is take one good look at that cover, and you know what this is. This is Tales from the Crypt. This is the complete series on Blu-ray from Germany. And once again, let me take a pause for a second. I did this when I talked about the real Ghostbusters set. Yes, this is on Blu-ray discs. No, it is not in high definition. Uh, once again, they have taken the DVD quality standard definition content and they've put that onto Blu-ray discs. And I explained in the previous video that all that does, because Blu-ray is able to hold more data, you're able to fit more episodes per disc. So uh, each of the seasons fits onto a single Blu-ray disc. So this is a seven disc set, seven Blu-rays. Each of the discs is one season, so all seven seasons. And... Um, this is a, just a really cool set. It's it's in a, again, a media book design. Um, and, you know, th this this disc is easy enough to figure out. <laughs> when I first got this, let me, let me talk about this for a second. Because this is some interesting packaging. I've never seen this before. Um, when you get to the last six discs, they're all kind of on top of each other. But let me, let me get a little closer. You can see there's no, like peg that it's sitting on right they're just kind of sitting there and i could not figure out how to get these things out um when i first got this it took me a minute uh and what it is there's these like the little spring loaded prong things down at the bottom here that are kind of pushing the disc up and if you push the disc down it'll put tension on those prongs and then you're able to lift it out uh just just a little side note. It, I just wanted to talk about that real quick because I've never seen that particular style of packaging before. I've seen all kinds of packaging styles uh, when it comes to DVD and Blu-ray designs, uh, but never that. So that one took me a minute to figure out how to get those discs out of there. Uh, but it works. You know, it's fine. And it, it uh, keeps it in a nice, slim, contained set. Now, one of the reasons I want to talk about this, uh, because unlike the real Ghostbusters, which you cannot get the complete series, at least not legitimately, uh, in the United States, you can get that in Germany. So that was one of the reasons I wanted to do that video. That is not the case with Tales from the Crypt. You can easily get this series on DVD still in the United States. In fact, I have it. Um, this is the set that you probably have seen out and about. This is the one I have. They released uh, all seven seasons in, in volumes before, but recently they've released this, which has all seven seasons contained in a single box set. And uh, you can get this pretty easily. I've seen this at Walmart. I've seen it at Best Buy. Um, it's pretty easy to find. And I have regularly seen this set relatively inexpensive. I've seen it for around 60 to $70 pretty much all the time. So you can get this and it's cheap to get, or relatively cheap to get anyway. Um, so you might be asking yourself, well, if this set is so easily available and it's relatively inexpensive and the Blu-ray set from Germany isn't increasing the quality in any way because it's just the DVD quality standard definition content, then why import it? Well, there is no real reason other than I just think this thing is cool. I thought I saw this when I was when I was shopping for the real Ghostbusters set. I also saw this and I thought it was real cool. I, I am a huge, huge fan of Tales from the Crypt. I love this show. So because it is so easy to get this. There is no real reason to get this unless you're just a huge fan and, and it's a collector's piece for you. And that's, that's what it is for me. It's a collector's piece. I thought it was cool. I wanted to pick it up. Uh, because the reality is that it is 
it's not hugely expensive, but it is a, it is probably a little bit more expensive than this set is to find regularly. And um, but yeah, it's it's just a cool collector's piece. Uh, this is actually one of three different versions of this set. I believe there's three. Um, but the only difference between this, the, the other two versions of this is the cover art. I, I liked this cover art where it's just the Crypt Keeper sitting there. Um, I thought it was kind of classic, you know, it, it just says Tales from the Crypt. And uh, the other two, one of them I felt was a little busy. Uh, the other one was kind of a close-up of the Crypt Keeper's face with some cobwebs and stuff. Um, so I went with this set. There's no difference with the other two sets apart from the cover art, and it's just a matter of preference. This is the one I went with. This is still easily available on Germany, uh, relatively inexpensive. They are starting to go up a little bit in price since I pur purchased this. Um, so if it is something that you're interested in, this is a limited edition uh, series set of these, uh, this, these, uh, media book designs with the cover arts. Uh, these are limited edition. So the price is starting to shoot up just a little bit on these. Um, so if you are interested, you might want to, uh, jump on it sooner rather than later. I'll put a link in the description for where you can get, um, all three versions of it, but it's just a really cool set. And actually one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this, um, is, this is not, this is fairly common in Germany, but is not common here. Um, I never see this. I never see shows or movies or anything for that matter being released on Blu-ray as standard definition. It seems to be very common in Germany. There, there's all kinds of these sets uh, where it's standard definition, DVD quality content put on Blu-ray, um, but not so much here. And, you know, I started to wonder, why is that? It might be some kind of preconceived notion that if it's on Blu-ray, it has to be in high definition. And there's some kind of backlash against it if it's not. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. But, but it is pretty common in Germany. There's all kinds of sets. In fact, there's actually one other set that I've picked up from Germany that's the same thing. It's standard definition. DVD quality content on Blu-ray discs. I'll talk about that probably in a future episode, but there's all, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, but, uh, and, and you know what? I, I kind of wonder why. I, I wonder why that's not more common anywhere else. I've, I haven't seen it anywhere else, uh, let alone the United States. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Germany is really only, only the only place that does this, at least that I'm aware of. Um, and, I actually think it's kind of cool. As I stated previously, you're able to fit more episodes per disc because Blu-ray can hold more data. So you have this, which is this really nice package, you know, doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space in the shelf. Um, or you have this. It's the same, same content, but it just, you know, it, it's, it takes up less space. And, you know, there's a lot of shows that have multiple seasons. And if you release that like this on Blu-ray, you could get a really nice, slim package on very few discs and you'd have the entire series. And I, I'm just, you know, it's just one of those things where I am curious why it's not more common. And again, I think it's just some kind of preconceived notion where if it's not high definition, it shouldn't be on Blu-ray, but whatever. I, I think it's cool that, you know, that, that they're like this. I think it's, I think it's, I would be happy because honestly, if they, if they sh sold some television series and it was either this or this, I would take this. It takes up less space. It looks really nice. So anyway, th that's something I wanted to talk about. I actually, I should probably get into some of the details of this. Um, once again, this says that it's region B locked on the packaging and it plays perfectly fine in my region A player. So it apparently, even though it says region B on the package, uh, apparently is multi-region. Um, I have no problems playing it on my multi-region player. Uh, once again, also like the real Ghostbusters set, it is in PAL. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Most players will play PAL, no problem, but it is just something to be aware of. So, again, 
is this worth importing? Well, that, that's really up to you. Like I said, you can get this very easily and relatively cheaply. cheaply. I see it on sale for around $60, $70 all the time. Um, so, and this is easy to get. Pretty much any store has it. You can order it online, whatever. Um, so, and, and because, because you're not increasing the quality of the content by putting it on the Blu-ray discs, um, this is probably fine for most people. The only real reason to pick this up is if you're a huge fan and you just want it as a collector's piece. And that's really what it is for me. Um, it's a collector's piece. I just thought it was a cool set. Um, and the, and again, the reason I wanted to talk about this, I, I, I kind of wanted to talk about that, um, that standard definition on Blu-ray. Um, because I think it's a cool idea. I think it's a very interesting idea. The, the idea of being able to fit a lot more content into fewer discs and, and having it take up less space. I think that's a really cool thing. Uh, but it just, it never really took off here. And, um, and like I said, Germany is really the only place that I know of that, that does it, at least, at least commonly. Um, so there you have it, guys. Guess just in Ostergroff, Tales from the Crypt. Uh, on Blu-ray, imported from Germany, limited edition collector set. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll put a link in the description if this is all at all something that you would be interested in picking up for yourself. Um, so until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and take it easy.